Kia ora netfitters, it's Laws here and I'm going to be taking you through Pilates for the next six weeks of Simmer. Simmer is all about living and listening in the now. No matter what your circumstances are, we're in the now and we're only worrying about the here and now. In New Zealand, we often set an intention using a whakatoki. So I thought this week's whakatoki, um, which is our now, is haki roto haki waho, which means breathe in, breathe out. Let's get into it. Our first exercise, because I'm listening to my body in the now, is going to be for my lovely Achilles tendons, which have been playing up. So they're going to be ISO holds. So you, we're going to turn um, side on for you, and you might want to put a little hand on the wall. Make sure your hands are clean so we're not putting grubby marks on mum's wall. And we literally are just going up into a straight leg calf raise and we're just holding for 45 seconds. Now, it sounds like the most easiest exercise in the world, but let me assure you, it gets painful. So you wanna think, turning our glutes on, thinking nice and tall through our body, and we're really contracting um, our calf, our glutes, and relaxing our shoulders as well, because sometimes when we get in this, we wanna bring our shoulders up to our earrings. So if you do have any lower calf, Achilles tendon pain, this is a really good prehab exercise that a lot of netballers do time and time again. So 45 seconds, 15 seconds off is actually um, the length of time that's recommended for these exercises. So hold it there. You might be feeling the burn in your calf at the moment. That might be an indicator to swapping sides to make sure we've got our glutes on. And when we're up on our toes, sometimes if you've got really flexy ankles, you'll let your ankle flick out to the side. So you want to be thinking you've got weight through the ball of your, ball of your um, foot and also through your big toe. Good job, guys. Don't know about you, but mine's on fire. Holding for a wee bit longer. And then we'll be moving on in our next 15 seconds. So usually three rounds we're working for today, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Great job. Thinking, squeezing our glute. Nice job. Holding there, thinking shoulders down. Brilliant, okay, exercise number two. We're gonna to come to the front of our mat. We're gonna lunge back, knee touch the ground, making sure we're knee over our second toe, and then we're coming up, squeezing the glute and lifting the back leg off. So you can start with your hands down by your sides for balance, and then you can bring them out in front if you'd like a challenge. So remembering sometimes changing our arm position really increases the challenge. So we should have all our weight in that front leg. Last one, changing sides, squeezing that glute. Lunging back, getting our balance. And you might have more range in one side than the other, that's perfectly normal. Well, I certainly do. The knees sound a little bit crunchy. We embrace that too. We could change our arms to up here. Brilliant one to get. Cool, number three, we're lying down on our backs. Figure four hip lifts. So this is how we step up from the hip lifts we usually do. And we just make, squeeze the glute, raise the hips. Trying to keep our figure four as open as we can. To increase the challenge, instead of going all the way down to the ground, you just hover above it. So you might slide your opposite hand underneath, or this hand here, when you're down low, just to hover. Great job. And switching sides. So think about when you're on the ground sometimes, a nice inhale, exhale, feel your foot fit on the ground, and then squeeze to lift. Sometimes if we over squeeze, we might do a bit of an S to get up. So we want to make sure we're just going straight up and straight down. Great job. Beautiful, one to go. All right, we are back up on our feet. At the front of our mat, we're going to squat down. Then we're going to kneel, 
come back up and then we do a little jump at the top. Squat down, back to our knees. Great job guys. Now, if your knees are a bit sensitive, kneeling, remember we can always have a towel there or you can literally just do the squat jumps. To make it harder, we can not use the arms at all. We can place them on our forehead. Keeping our core nice and tight. Thinking about how align, alignment of our, one to get guys, of our knees over our second toes. Brilliant. And then our last one, we're in round 13 of super neat ball and so the old hamstring is getting a bit tight so we're going to do nerve glides so we're going to stretch one leg up as high as we can so your hands are just behind your knees and you're reaching to the ceiling a small curl up if you like we're going to do five of these three four five and then we're going to straighten both legs and we go into scissors so some of you will be able to bring this leg right towards your forehead. For me, that's not available. So you keep your leg as straight as you can. Great job, guys. We've nearly done round one. Coming up next is our ISO holds. So we're thinking ribs to hips, squeezing as much as we can. Two to go. Not too much bouncing. One, come back into tabletop. Lower the upper body down. Put our feet on the ground and let's just do a breath here. Inhale, exhale, and then we're up on our feet, back to our ISO hold. So, definitely gets the heart rate up, and when you feel like you kind of need to just take a moment, feel free to place your feet on the ground, feel the earth under your feet, good inhale, good exhale, recenter yourself. It's always a really good one, and it's something you can do literally in the middle of a game. So I often sometimes running back to the center circle, I do a inhale, exhale, think about what's my job, get the center pass away, off I tottle. So we can use our breath all the time. Now these ISO holds might be harder, second time round, switching sides, that's totally normal. So we're thinking relaxed shoulders, no shoulders for earrings, glutes on, lifting up and out. Making sure we've got equal um, weight distribution across the ball of our foot and into our big toe. Good job, nice and strong. Really, really, really good prehab exercise like I said at the start for anyone that gets tendinopathy, which is totally normal. A little bit painful, but totally normal. Great job, guys. Coming up, we're getting ready for our lunge and kick. Remembering we can change our hand position to increase the difficulty if we would like. Not long, here we go, right. Here we go, I'm gonna go hands on my forehead, lunging back, squeeze the glute and lift. So we're pushing up through this bent leg heel to get that lift of the back leg. So it's not a big one, but you certainly feel it. So to make sure that our, when we do our lunge, you should be able to wiggle your toes. So you know you're not going forward with your knee. Great job. Ooh, feeling the burn. Swatching sides. Quick breath at the top if you need. Hands to our position. Great, we're thinking smooth and squeeze. We exhale on the lift or whatever breathing pattern works for you. Great job guys. Beautiful, last one. Nice, down on our backs. Figure four, 
So it's like your ankle or your foot sitting on your femur and we just lift and lower. Remembering to increase the difficulty, we can reach our arms up. We can also have a ball in here too and as we go up we can squeeze the ball. It's quite good to when you do these exercises to turn on your lats. Last one on the side, switching sides. Making sure your setup's right. Breathe in, exhale, squeeze and lift. Nice. Now if you're feeling it in your hamstring, your foot might be a little bit too far away. So you might just need to hop it in a bit. Two to go. Foot on the ground. Coming up to our standing. Breathe in, breathe out. We're gonna squat down, kneel, small jump. Make sure we change the leg that we lead back on. Remembering taking our hands out of our balance position and our jump position adds the challenge. Good job guys. Keep breathing. Equal exploding and pressure through. Last one, our jump. Lying down on our backs. Lifting one leg to table to hop followed by the other. Feet in behind our knees and we're just reaching that heel to the ceiling. Good job. So we do five each side. Then we get into our scissors. So these are called nerve glides the extension of the leg to the ceiling. Really good for hamstring connections if you get any pains in your lower glute or anything like that. All right, going into scissors. So we're gonna extend both legs up. Drop one down, thinking ribs to hips, and exhale as that leg goes away. Trying to keep the legs as straight as you can when you bring them in if that's available. Great job, everyone. Put in your toes. Beautiful. Five, four, three, one. Great job. Knees into tabletop, lower the upper body down. Toe ball heel, toe ball heel. And let's just take a breath in and a breath out. And then come up to sitting. Beautiful guys, that's week one, being in the here and now and listening to your body.